morning guys it is vlogmas day five <laughs> I'm having a bit of an outfit dilemma. I bought these shoes like right at the end of the summer from this boutique called Hazel and Olive. I really like the booties, but I ordered a, like a half size too big. I got nines and I'm like really in between an eight and a half and a nine. See, there's just like so much extra, like look at this, look at this. My toe is right here. So these are definitely way too big. I can't return them because like I said, it's been forever and I dropped the ball on like the return process. I guess what I'm trying to say is if you want these and you're a size nine, I haven't even worn them out of the house because they're too big. I think I got them for like 30, $35. So if that sounds good to you, hit me up. I'm really depressed though because they would have looked cute with my outfit today but I just walked them around walked around the house in them and I just can't but anyway so I got ready first this morning usually I'll set an alarm like to wake up and then I'll come downstairs eat breakfast like catch up on like what what work I need to do before I go to class and then I'll get ready um an hour before I need to leave so that alarm was my go get ready alarm but I'm already ready so I have an hour to work on stuff um yeah so that's what i'm gonna do um it's a really gloomy day out i'm not really sure if it's supposed to rain or snow or what is happening but it is like not very sunny and it's sad i have a really long day of class today so normally i'll look like really chill um with my outfit but since i'm presenting in both classes i figured i should probably like look a little bit more like a human um, I'll show you guys my outfit before I leave today, but I'm going to eat some breakfast and do a little bit of work before I go to class, so I'll catch you guys later. Okay, so I just finished my presentation for my class at 12.30, and I have about 15 minutes till I have to leave, and she said that we have to practice our presentation so we don't go over five minutes because everyone in the class is presenting today, and that's 23 people, so... Um, yeah, she said, make sure you practice, you don't go over five minutes. So I'm going to practice by explaining my project to you guys. So this treatment activity is for bilabials and alveolar sounds, and also kind of works on functional communication because um, it's a Halloween themed activity that I actually did with my client. Um, and the theoretical premise that is underlying it is a behaviorist model and traditional articulation therapy. Um, so you just need scissors, a glue stick, and construction paper in the colors orange, black, and green or brown, depending on what color you want your pumpkin stem to be. So the way the activity works is, um, I came up with these targets, um, that are related to Halloween that also work on the sounds that my client was working on. So I made this on Board Maker, and, um, so you print that out, you cut the, all those out, you, um, I also have like a outline that I found online of like a pumpkin and the pumpkin's face. And essentially, it's going to look like this. And you're just going to have um, the client repeat all the words and then either they can glue them or you can put glue on them and have them glue. Um, but you just have them repeat all the words and then um, when they've either produced, successfully produced, or successfully attempted the production, um, and you can have them glue it on and around the pumpkin, and then they can take the craft home and practice those words leading up to Halloween. So, um, to take data, um, you just print two of these sheets out, one you can cut out for the activity, and then the other one you can keep like this, and you can just make marks um, on whether they produce the sounds correctly or incorrectly. Um, yeah, so that was well under five minutes, but I'll probably tell a little bit more, um, anecdotal stories about my client that I can't share with you guys. Yeah, and this photo I put on my speechy Instagram, which if you are a speech pathologist, future speech pathologist, or if you are just curious on what, um, I'm doing with my life. You can follow me there. It's just at speech with Kayla. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go pack my lunch 
and probably change my outfit. I think I'm going to put leggings on and wear my tall black boots instead because my shoe situation is just terrible right now. Okay, here we are. Here's today's outfit. This sweater is bubble sleeve sweater and it's from Shein. I took a risk and actually everything that I bought turned out pretty cute. So, um that's where the sweater's from. Leggings from Gap and these boots are I think Steve Madden. These boots Ryan got for me for Christmas a couple years ago. Um, gonna get all my stuff together and I'll talk to you later. Ugh. Guys, it is 7.18 at night and I just pulled in to my apartment apartment's garage. Today was pretty rough because I had to do two presentations and it was just a really long day and then I have a quiz tomorrow that I have to study for so yeah but I am really hungry so as soon as I get home I'm probably gonna eat something and uh see what Ryan's up to so yeah today's vlog is not gonna be very fun unfortunately I apologize but sometimes days are like this y'all it's just grad school life. All you do is go to class, and then you come home, and then you do more schoolwork. So, all right, I'll catch you guys later. Hi hey guys. So, I'm reheating some more mac and cheese, but I really feel like today's vlog is just going to be very pointless. But I need to put something up because it's my goal to actually like do vlogmas this year. So. I'm really sorry if this video is not up to your expectations, but I promise that once I'm done with school and everything, it will hopefully be a lot better. And a good thing about this mac and cheese is that it's really good even two days later. So I did eat dinner with Ryan. He's just upstairs showering now because he went to the gym before I even got home today. Um, but this is just the mac and cheese that I didn't finish that got kind of cold. So I need to reheat it. Um, we were watching Miranda Sings. Um, I never really watched her vlogs or her videos or whatever. But... One of them came up in my suggested videos today, and it was, like, about how her Netflix show got canceled. And I realized that, like, I never even watched it, so I want to try it because I saw Angela from The Office is in it. So, I just finished the first episode, and it was pretty funny, but it's, like, you have to have a specific type of humor, I guess, to get it and, like, actually think it's funny. Like, Ryan had never even heard of her, which I thought was kind of funny because, like, I at least have like heard of Miranda Sings people I think people in school I was like when I was in middle school they watched her I have to make a cheat sheet for my quiz tomorrow I've been putting it off because there's a lot of material that's gonna be on this quiz and even though I get to make a cheat sheet for it I'm still nervous because there's so much info I can't put everything on the cheat sheet Ryan and I are going to buy tickets to see The Disaster Artist on Friday night because, like I said, last Friday, that's our movie night, movie day. So I want to buy tickets soon because all the movie theaters near us, we have to actually reserve our seats, which is crazy. Tell the vlog what you learned. Today I learned about Fidelity so, Charitable Funds. It's basically like investments for charity. Is this going to be boring? Yeah, it optimizes <laughs> your tax deductions on charitable giving. This is what he thinks is interesting. I'm a Scrooge, right? i got to maximize my tax efficiency. This is interesting. To you? Right. Say hypothetically you made a bunch of money on something you invested in. You can donate it to charity without paying the tax first. It's going directly. Oh. It's a secret. That's kind of cool. You know what I'm getting, getting be better at this year? What? Anytime I go to put food away, I always say, I need a big container. 
So I'm trying to go for little containers. So I always get these big giant bags and big containers. And I put well, yeah, it in here I and bought like, you a whole set. It's like little of Tupperware. It looks big next to your head, but I normally get the bigger size and look, it all fit. It just looks bigger when it's all life advice from Ryan. Out. Use the it's little containers. Hey guys, still here, still going strong. Um, let me show you. I've done this much for my cheat sheet. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here and um, maybe get all the clips on my computer for tomorrow so I can edit in the morning um, yeah so today was kind of boring but hopefully you guys still liked the vlog um, yeah like I said earlier like I'm living my life trying to be as exciting as possible but you know because grad school and I still have to sit here at my desk and do lots of work um, Tomorrow I have my client and I'm helping out with a holiday party so it's going to be another very very long day so I have class at 12.30 or no I have to meet with my um, supervisor, master clinician is what we call them. I have to meet with her at 11.15, 11.30 and then I have class at 12.30 and then 12.30 to 3.30, then I have my client at 5, and I'm helping with the holiday party after that. So, I'm already yawning, thinking about it. Alright, signing off for day 5. Check back tomorrow for another Vlogmas vlog. Thanks for watching, guys.